Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. It is the 8th day of June and it is a Thursday. So I'm very grateful to be connecting with you today. And today's subject is how to open up every morning, every day with love. And I hope that this will serve you. I know that all of us have our um, blockages we have families, we have kids, we have husbands, we have wives, we have very busy lives. And for most of us, we jump out of bed and the, um, instantly there is um, a great deal of activity happening in our world. Our head is busy and uh, uh, maybe our kids are pulling at us. So we're going to talk today about how we can wake up every morning in the space of love, keeping in consideration the, um, the uh, realities of life at the same time. So I hope that you're able to stick around today <coughs> and receive this wisdom. We'll also offer, of course, some guidance, some forgiveness practices, some blessings. There will be great reasons to stay tuned. So thank you all for your patience with my foray into uh, exploring a fan page. I will continue, of course, my fan page. I'll have additional and separate posts there. Uh, but Facebook uh, basically categorizes that very much like a business, and uh, there's a lot of restrictions that I was unaware of. Even my own ability to download my own uh, video at high, high definition is not allowed. Uh, there's quite a few restrictions about the sharing of this wisdom into groups simply because it came from a fan page. So I am back to communicating with you from my personal page <clears throat> and we'll continue to do so from this time forward. So I apologize for that three day hiccup. Uh, I am back now and I will not be changing moving forward. So I thank you all so much for joining. Looks like we're getting a big crowd here today. Uh, let me acknowledge who's joining in. Give me a second. So we've got, welcome Maddie, welcome Kathleen, welcome Iwana, Aloha Susan, Aloha Kristen Rojas, welcome Candy, uh, welcome Brigitte, and Kathleen Monahan, welcome, good to see you. Also Linda Jansen, and welcome also Sarah Penton. Welcome Sherry Jarman. And Lisa Brady, good to see you, Lisa. Welcome, Johnny, and welcome, Nancy Lynn, as well. Aloha, Annie Smith, Ola, and Janice Crosby. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining. Might have missed one or two. There's Jennifer Cress Smith. Welcome, Jennifer. <coughs> and so, thank you all for joining today. Thank you also for sharing, letting other people know about this. Today will not be a full hour. Um, I've got some activities I have to do in town and the drive is about 30 minutes to get to where I need to go and that'll only leave me about 30 minutes to complete it since they close at a certain time. So I will today be focusing on um, bringing this information to you in a very powerful way. I'll finish this about 45 minutes in. Okay. And so thank you all for coming. Thank you for joining. So <clears throat> for those that are not familiar, we always start our live streams with uh, chanting the mantra of love, peace, and harmony. And it is a mantra that is literally a healing mantra. I don't know how else to put it. It just is. Um, I offered a blessing with it last week. I had none of my healing transmissions turned on. I just asked the song to offer you a blessing for whatever you requested. <clears throat> and there was six going down to twos and sevens going down to ones from whatever that person had requested. So no doubt about it, the song is healing. We use it to connect heart to heart, soul to soul at the beginning of each one of these live streams. So let's do so. Let's place our hands. <coughs> so light soul service hand position. As always, my throat starts getting filled with phlegm when I start these live streams because of the uh, need to purify. So our hands start like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes. Let us connect. Dear beloved divine Tao source, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, 
our divine and Tao uh, uh, connections. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please be present at this time. Dear all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, we love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all, respect you. We invite you to please be with us today, including beloved Father Jesus, Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin. Any other deities, beings of light that you align to, invite them to be with you at this time. Uh, we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to please also be present to join with us to offer your highest, best, and most relevant guidance for enjoying your day starting out with love in your morning. We ask this soul song to please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to join with us at this time. So let us chant. For those that are new, this is a blessing. Close your eyes and receive. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Whoa,ai,我先,哈,哩,我,ai,it's,run,ran,ly,我,ly,ring,ron,her,mu,sher,shung,shung,ai,ping,on,her,say, <coughs> I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Whoa,我心,her,ling,我,I,to,run,ran,ling,往,里,ying,ron,her,mu,sher,shung,shung,I,ping,on,her,shay, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have a few more people to join us. So welcome Nancy Lynn, welcome Annie, welcome Janice, welcome Jacqueline McKay, aloha uh, CJ, aloha Ale, welcome uh, Renee and Nora, aloha to um, Jean Wood, welcome. Thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Very grateful. And also welcome Elizabeth. Anybody else, if I've not mentioned you, double blessings. That's what Master Shaw teaches us, is um, if our name is not mentioned, then we could get double blessings. It depends. Did you go, he didn't mention me? Well, that's ego. And it's an opportunity to purify. Today is on how to wake up every day 
in love. Now, before this live stream started, I said, okay, Heaven, what would you like me to share with people? The answer will be very different than what you expect. The answer has to do with the previous day. And I will be the first to admit that I don't do this near often enough. So we can all do this together. <clears throat> the answer is, at the end of your previous day, to look at your day. Look at it from the perspective of your favorite being of light. Do you align to Krishna? Do you align to Jesus? Do you align to God? Do you align to Mother Earth? Do you align to Buddha? Do you align to none of the above, but you have a spiritual connection? Whoever and whatever you align to, ask the question, tell me about my day. What could I have done differently with my thoughts, words, and actions? And then look at your day from the moment you woke up. Why do we do it from the moment we woke up? <clears throat> because most of us are very stuck in our um, patterns. And aloha and welcome, Becky. So those patterns for some of us might be the four-year-old tugging at the sheets. It might be that alarm going off and we reach over and whack it a couple times and try to snooze another five or ten minutes it might be pulling the husband's arm out of your face it might be that you get up and you just sleep you walk into the bathroom and your eyes are not even open yet and you're splash cold water in your face and start by brushing your teeth we all have our own unique way of starting our day the highest suggestion will be to start it in gratitude, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But it starts with the recognition of what was not the ideal scenario to bring you to a place of love in starting your day. Aloha and welcome Shar Papas. Welcome Angie Kenny. Great to see you. Welcome Ari. <coughs> and welcome to Dove. Good to see you, Dove. Welcome Lori Geis. So, as you are at the end of your day, you want to make it the pattern like what you're going to do in the beginning of your day. The beginning of your day cannot begin with love until you start paying attention and being responsible for the entirety of your day, which you want to do during the day, but we can all do that uh, synopsis at the end when we, um, when we get to the end of the day. So we start by changing the pattern at the end of the day. Most of us have a pattern of going to bed at night. Um, maybe we need to, uh, what I found as far as pattern breaking, we have to find an existing pattern and then add something before it or after it, preferably before it. Let's say your pattern is watching your favorite TV show at 9 o'clock or your, your, your consistent pattern is brushing your teeth before you go to bed. That's always a good one, right? So you get ready to brush your teeth before you go to bed and you put the toothbrush in your mouth and you go, stop. The stop is to not let yourself brush your teeth until you do your recall of the day. Because if you instigate a pattern before a pattern and you don't let yourself do that pattern until you've done the new one, then you will always repeat it. Okay, so there's a little trick for you. So let's stick with the toothbrush one unless you have a better one for yourself. <clears throat> so let's all make an agreement that before we put that toothbrush in our mouth into the night, we put it back down and we do a five minute or so a process of the day. It would start by asking your, the, your favorite uh, a being of light to come. Dear Jesus, please come. Please sit in my heart. Please guide me through this process today because I want to know how you would do things. I want to look at the day the way you would do it. Or if you, if you're, if you uh, are close to God, you're close to Buddha, dear God, could you please come sit in my heart. Please guide me to look at this day today the way you would look at it so I can make improvements so that when I wake up tomorrow, I have no debris 
that I'm going to bed with. This is the first step in waking up in the morning in a place of love. We have to not go to bed with debris because it's the debris that messes with our sleep. It's the debris that messes with our health. It's the debris of the stress of the day that messes with our, our, our literally our physical, emotional, mental health, which impacts the, the d release of the melatonin and it impacts our state of mind before we get up. Okay, so uh, call forth that being of light that's, uh, that is your favorite. Ask them, please guide me in my review of the day. You start by looking at your morning. How did I wake up? Oh, I forgot to wake up with gratitude. I immediately jumped out of bed, splash water on my face, or I immediately jumped out of bed and started feeding the kids, or whatever your immediacy is. I didn't take the two or three minutes to say thank you. Maybe even one minute. I'm, show of hands, how many hearts, show of happy faces, how many of you, when you wake up, your first thought is gratitude? Let me see how many happy faces and shows of hands do that. Because that is the first step to ensuring a far better day. Now, I'm waiting for the lag, but so far I'm not seeing any. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a few hearts. Okay, I'm starting to see a few come across the screen now. Good. But certainly not handfuls, bucket loads, which is what it should be. So, the next step is when I... Did, did or did not do my uh, um, uh, alignment with gratitude, we should, and I don't do this, I'm going to add this to my repertoire, we should do a forgiveness practice to start our day. I do wake up with forgiveness. I have gotten very good at that. I, I would say 98%. But I will add to my repertoire forgiveness. So I will offer my gratitude first, and then I will, dear God, Tao, Source, all beings of light, all the souls in all lifetimes, if I and my ancestors have harmed you, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I will do better. I will go out and do more service today. I will be a better soul. I will do things that don't hurt people. Please forgive me. I will do much better. Simple, right? One more minute. That's two minutes. Do you honestly think that will impact the rest of your day negatively? Probably not. And it certainly won't keep the rest of your day from... Um, occurring it will occur regardless but it has the very strong potential of ensuring a bigger smile to the loved ones in your family around you uh, a different outlook when you're on your way to whatever your morning uh, activity is could be work it could be the morning exercise routine I don't know everybody has a different life in the morning but by starting with gratitude starting with forgiveness our heart is already open what do you think an open heart means it means love you can also choose to add and bring in love peace and harmony you can make the conscious effort to make that your third step wake up gratitude quick forgiveness from your heart Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony, as I wake up and start moving about the day, please clear the blockages, keep me in a space of love. The kids come downstairs, one of the teenagers comes down, I can't believe, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm going to have a test today, and they're stressing out, and, you know, the husband's, where's my da, 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 da. Everyone's in their little stress place, but you, you're chanting love, peace, and harmony. You've opened your heart. You're in a place of forgiveness and you've done your steps. But you don't know that. And you didn't keep yourself in the right place until the night before when you do the checkup. So let's go back to the night before. How did your day go? Did you frown or did you smile at the family members that may be in the house? Did you frown or smile at yourself in the mirror in the morning? Okay? That's your next check. Um, were you complaining? Oh, my aching back. Oh, God, I got to go to work. How many of us do that? I can't believe I have to go to work again today. Okay. Do you think that that will support love in your life? 
Probably not. And so look at these things. We've talked about everything has a soul. Your aching back has a soul. Oh, my back. I have a bad back. I can't believe Oh, I got to go to this job. Oh, okay. Well, the job has a soul. That business has a soul. All of the people you work with have a soul. Are you doing yourself any service in bringing yourself to a place of love and happiness into that environment? Do you want to bring uh, uh, negativity into that environment or do you want to bring positivity? Which one do you think is going to keep your heart open more? Which one do you think is going to serve you in that place of love? So look at your day at the end of the day. Am I doing this? Thoughts, words, actions. Right now we're looking at our actions. Okay. You also have to pay attention to your thoughts and words. Did you say something harsh to anybody? throughout that day. You have to walk yourself through your day. If you were in the city uh, and you were um, uh, 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 cursing the weather, that's a thought. Okay, ah, the damn weather, I can't believe it's raining again. Um, what about the person in the taxi cab? That's what I thought about the city first, and you can have rain anywhere. But what about the taxi cab? There's no cabs when I need them. God, you know, the bus is late, ah, oh. right? These are attitudes. These are uh, closed heart. This is not love. You will find that by setting your morning up properly, by paying attention to how you bring your thoughts and words and actions into each day, that you will have a far, far better day, probably one of the best you've ever had. You will find that a consistency of those days will bring you a raise, Will, will remove people you don't like in your life, will bring people that resonate with your positive frequency into your life. It will change your outlook on everything else that is happening around you because you will see it through different eyes because your heart will be open. So we have to just do the simple steps. So as you move through the day, and you come into the same old environment that your typical day evolves around, whatever it is. Okay, everyone's a little different. Maybe some of you take care of mom and dad, and that's the same thing, and you love them, but man, it's hard and tiring. Maybe some of you have a job, and that's what's hard and tiring. Maybe some of you um, uh, have to take care of the kids and stay at home, and it's ah, uh, same thing. Love the kids, but ah, uh, okay. Why can't we share this wisdom with others? Why couldn't you share it with the kids? If you can teach them to wake up every day, if you can teach the parents, why not? If you can teach a coworker, that's one more coworker that's not miserable, to wake up every day. Gratitude, forgiveness, chant love, peace, and harmony. And then just be, uh, uh, watch the day, pay attention, okay? Especially to your thoughts. Thoughts precede our words. Our words create problems or blessings. Just think about yesterday. Everybody take a minute. Just take, sometimes it's hard for us to even think about yesterday. So we're just going to be silent for a minute. Everybody think about yesterday and a words that they said that brought harm. Think now about the thought that preceded those words. What caused those words to fly out of your mouth? Because we can point the finger at the other, but I want you to focus on what caused it. Was it, it wasn't Bobby did this. It wasn't my boss did this or the coworker did that. That's not what caused it, guys. What caused it is your reaction. Was it, I was angry because I was not understood. I was angry because they weren't paying attention to my needs. I was uh, 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 this or that because of this or that. That that person ran out in front of me, and I almost you know ran them over. So I was very fearful. What caused those words to come out of your mouth? Don't blame the other person. Look at the thought 
that preceded the words. This is the kind of self-work you have to do in that five or ten minutes each night to wake up each morning with greater love. <clears throat> because what do you think happens when you spit out those negative words or those negative thoughts? Many of us hold in those negative thoughts. Show of hands, how many of you hold in your negative thoughts? You don't really express what you're thinking. Come on, be truthful. Be truthful. Let's see it. Yeah, I know. A lot of us hold in our negative thoughts. Do you think that's keeping your heart open or closed? Right? What, which one is it going to do? So how do you deal with that? It doesn't mean you express it outwardly to them, but holding it in is not serving you either. You come to terms with it. I felt hurt by that thing that I observed, that action that happened to me, whatever it was. I was really needing, you know, respect. I was really needing to be loved. I was really needing to be listened to. Whatever it is, talk to yourself. Okay? But instead of holding it in, I'm going to love and forgive myself for the old habit of holding it in. I'm going to honor myself for reflecting what I was feeling and what I was needing. And I'm going to do better in the future so that uh, uh, I'll communicate with more love and more whatever it takes so that uh, when the possibility of these things occurring in the future, maybe they won't occur. If it's a boss and they're always a jerk and you're holding it in, okay, do forgiveness practice with the boss. Maybe you were the boss that was the jerk and now you're getting it in return. Maybe you were the coworker that always says negative things about you behind the water cooler and, know it and, and, and gossip and you can't do anything about it. Do forgiveness practice with those souls. Maybe you were the gossiper. <clears throat> when we have negative thoughts, it closes our heart. Be responsible. This is what you check in with at the end of the day. You check those five or ten minutes. Just close your eyes. No one has to, to you know, whatever. The kids are bad, you're by yourself, whatever. Close your eyes. Go into that replay of the day. Where was I negative? Where did I have a negative thought? Where did I speak negative to people? Okay, Where did I act inappropriately? Where did I do anything that created negative karma? Where did I do anything that closed my heart? Dear God, dear Jesus, whatever being of light is with you, could you please shine the light on this? I'm having trouble seeing it right now. And then just wait. <laughs> They'll shine the light on it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I, that, that, that person at the intersection there, you know, I scowled at them, or they reminded me of my, my mean stepmother, whatever, right? Um, then, do forgiveness. What is forgiveness? It is releasing and removing the karma that was generated that day by wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions. To ourself as well. I forgive myself for having these negative thoughts about myself. You have to catch yourself in your own negative thoughts. You must review that through the day. Okay. I forgive others for, um, for bringing about conditions in which I found myself in irritation. <clears throat> Don't just say I forgive them because that's just like you know, BS really. You say, if I have created the same kind of conditions upon you, the one that brought these conditions to me, and all souls, if I did the kind of things that happened to me today to any souls, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. That's forgiveness. Don't just say, I forgive you, and then try to go to sleep. Okay? What are we doing? We're clearing the heart. We're clearing the blockages. We're releasing the debt and the debris. We're preparing ourselves for waking up in love the next day. We're preparing ourselves for when we go to sleep. What do you think happens when you go to sleep, guys? Oh, I dream. Oh, I'm zonked out. I don't know. Okay, well, guess what? You're a soul having a physical experience. Your soul goes to travel. Um, sometimes it travels down here. Mundane stuff. <clears throat> it can't go higher. It can't go hang out with the angels. It can't go receive teachings and blessings with the halls of heaven, where there are lots of classrooms and lots of, of wisdom every day. 
When people are asleep, there's always cl uh, there's classrooms 24/7. Okay, know this. There are heavenly classrooms 24/7. People go to sleep. Some go. Some don't. It depends on how open is their heart. So by doing these things, by consciously being present, you are positioning yourself to have better, much better dreams, much better sleep. Those who have sleep issues have blockages in their kidneys, blockages in their heart. Yin and yang, they are opposite of each other. They create an imbalance because they're literally stopping the connection from heaven and earth. The kidneys are related to fear. The heart is related to anxiety. These kinds of folks, they think too much. They're in their head all the time. They can't get to sleep because they can't turn anything off. Why? <clears throat> one of the reasons why, one of the big reasons why, is because they have not done this kind of work. If they took the time to open their heart, to see their thoughts, words, and actions, to release the negativity and all the stuff they hold in instead of expressing, to give themselves love and forgiveness, to ask for love and forgiveness, <coughs> to do the things they need to do, <coughs> to release the blockages that are being held inside in the physical body, they would find sleep. I guarantee it. These are the simple steps to how we move to love. Now today I'm going to finish this live stream at 2.45, which is about 12 minutes from now, 2.45 Hawaii time. So we're now we're going to do a practice for um, releasing blockages to doing these practices for ourselves every day. And then I'm going to offer a blessing so that to help you to remember to do these practices for yourself every day. Kayla says her mind is constantly running. She can't even go to sleep without classical music. Yeah, it calm, what does classical music do? It opens the heart, it calms the mind. Beautiful. Okay? <clears throat> I'm going to teach you all a secret. This is a sacred secret. It's probably going to go right through your ears and be gone. It takes years to do it 24-7. But if you start now, you could have a significantly greater experience. The secret is to always keep your mind not in your head. To always keep your mind in your lower abdomen and more specifically <coughs> in your Mingman point, which is directly across from your belly button. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a little button in the back, directly across from your belly button, a little dip in your back. And that, that swirls down to the lower abdomen. That whole area, if you kept your mind, your thoughts, and your breath there, you can talk to people, keep your mind there. You can write stuff, keep your mind there. You can read a book, keep your mind there. It just takes a conscious choice. Why? Sleep, love, no pain, no stress. You are not in your head at that point in time. When we're in our head is when we have problems. When we're in our head is when we make wrong choices. When we keep our, our intention in the lower part of our body, we stay in that point of balance. Okay? It's a sacred secret that the highest masters use. It's up to you if you want to use it. <coughs> All right, let's do a practice. Where you're ever you're at, sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Close your eyes. Rest your palms on your lower abdomen. Keep your eyes closed. If you can see me, your eyes are not closed. <sighs> Deep breath in. Breathe out. Another deep breath in. Breathe it out. One more deep breath in. And release. Repeat after me. Dear my soul, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Please forgive me for putting you through so much blockages and trouble in this life. <clears throat> Please forgive me for creating new karma from wrong or hurtful thoughts, 
words, and actions. I wish to improve. I wish to do much better. I wish to wake up and move through every day with greater love. I need your help, my beloved soul. <clears throat> I need your help to remember each night at a specific time before I brush my teeth or whatever time I tell you, please remind me to not move forward until I take a five to ten minute review of the day. Honest review where I give myself forgiveness and I offer and ask for forgiveness from all those that I might have caused them to close their hearts through hurtful thought, words, or actions. Please bless me, my beloved soul. <clears throat> and I ask God, I ask all the beings of light to bless me, to remember this, and when I wake up in the morning, to make it a habit and a pattern to not put my feet on the floor until I connect with gratitude, with forgiveness, and with love, peace, and harmony, soul song. And if I put my feet on the floor, please remind me, my beloved soul and these beings of light, to remember and instantly lie back down and do this few minute practice. Please also, my beloved soul and these beloved beings of light that I have invited, to remember throughout the day to pay attention to any negativity I might be thinking, to any words that I might be thinking about expressing, or if I express them, or any actions that bring harm or hurtfulness to any soul. Please bless me to remember to instantly ask for forgiveness. I know I'm asking a lot, my beloved soul and God and all the beings of light, but I wish to be a better servant. I wish to heal. I wish to align my heart and soul in love. And I ask most humbly for forgiveness to all of the souls in all time. If any of my thoughts, words, or actions have kept you from waking up and operating in your day in a place of love. So now I will offer a blessing, but I want all of you to be in a place of gratitude and forgiveness. Okay? So dear this healing treasure I'm thinking of, please turn on. This is a very high treasure I'm going to use to bless you guys. Please offer this blessing to assist each of those watching now, watching in the future, listening to podcasts in the future, <clears throat> to bless them to complete everything that was just requested in whatever way is appropriate for each of the souls. Bless each of them to assist them to clear their blockages in whatever way is appropriate that they can remember and activate this activity each and every day for their highest health and well-being, the opening of their heart, as appropriate. Blessing for each of you, begin. I will include the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony as an additional blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, Oh, 
Thank you, thank you. Big, big, big blessings. Lots and 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 lots of blockages removed from everybody's hearts, mindsets, lots of negative mindsets removed, lots of, of negative thinking were, was blessed. Uh, all of your souls have been in, uh, boosted so that they'll help you to remember. <clears throat> your heaven's teams have come. They're going to help you to remember. Everyone needs to make an agreement. What's one of the ways you can do it? Choose the specific patterns that you do. Okay? Make a mental agreement. My feet, if they hit the ground and I have not done this, I lie back down and do it. It's only a couple minutes. Make that agreement. If your feet has already hit the ground and you're in there in the shower, <clears throat> do it in the shower. Okay? Do it if you're brushing your teeth and you remember, oh, I forgot. Put the toothbrush down, do it when brushing your teeth, or refuse to forget until you're done brushing your teeth, and then do it. But do your best. And at the end of the night, when you start in the beginning, when you wake up, okay, ah, I forgot I did it when I was brushing my teeth. Tomorrow when I wake up, then my soul remind me, tell your soul, I promise you, you tell your soul at night to remind you, you wake up in the morning, ding, oh yeah, do my forgiveness practice, do my gratitude. So catch yourself to remind yourself to stay on task and then choose a habit at night that you refuse to allow yourself to do until you've done your checkup on yourself check up from the neck up they call it if you do this there's a very high probability you will be able to put into action all that you have been learning this last year or however long you've been coming to these live streams the wisdom is there you all love the wisdom but the practicality of bringing it into our life can be cumbersome. Uh, so this is the way in which you can add a little bit at a time, catch yourself a little bit at a time, remove the debris that shows up in your life in the form of negative thoughts, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs towards self and others a little bit at the time. And therefore you're clearing not only old karma because you're asking for forgiveness what you did in the past, but you're not allowing new karma. Guess what happens when you do that, guys? Heart remains open, more and more love, more and more happiness, better finances, better relationships, everything gets better. And all you did was paid attention to releasing the old debt 
and making sure you didn't create new ones, okay? So that is how you wake up every day in love. I hope that this has served you well. <clears throat> For those that came in late, do watch from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to end it today at the 45 minute mark because I've got to go in town and take care of some business. The weekend's coming up. For those that are not aware, please consider coming to my workshop on called Cancer, uh, Spiritual Understanding. It's called Cancer, the Spiritual Understanding for the Root Cause and the Answers because there are answers. You can find that information on my webpage click through it's only twenty dollars three four hours whatever it is there will be great guidance great wisdom great blessings and opportunities and you'll have the abilities to watch it after the fact so even if you don't know if you can come saturday when i'm doing it's 8 a.m hawaii time like uh, 11 a.m pacific time is a 3 p.m eastern time uh it's only 7 or 8 p.m in eastern in uh, europe time zone uk time zone um, so, but if you can't make it fully, that's okay. It's recorded. You can watch it instantly afterwards. And uh, you may think of people that you care about that you'd like to share it with. It will be available for them for that same $20. The, the little extra money helps me to continue paying for the, the software or things like that that I had to get to do this program. So um, it's all about serving humanity and serving the community. So if you're interested, make sure. And I think, yeah, Kristen just posted it in the chat box there, so you can click on it that way too. Okay, so have a great weekend. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light who came to all of your souls. Countless, countless bow downs. We will see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.